Hey, what's up everybody? We're doing some testing tonight for a customer and this portion of the testing is to determine whether or not this thing will burn itself out. We've all seen where blow torches can burn out if you turn them up too high, like your rosebud burners and things like that. And this thing is at full tank pressure. As much flow as a propane tank can put out. That is the most massive blow torch I've ever seen in my life. So we definitely ain't gonna worry about that. I need you to take a look at this flame. We are at our target pressure here, 0 0.08 bar. So if you think your flame needs to be bigger than that at 0 0.08 bar, that means I need to increase the size of the aperture. So that's what we'll do essentially. This here's at one PSI, a little bit less pressure. If you think the flame's gonna be smaller than that at um, 0 0.08 bar, then the spud size is perfect. We want to have a little bit of restriction there to get a decent mixing. That's what's helping us get that high wind resistance. Without that, then we're blowing out. This is uh, 0.13 bar. I don't know what your max pressure is going to be, but um, I definitely wanted to test a wider spectrum than what you specified. I would imagine you're going to go nowhere near these pressures with the size of the pyrolyzer you're using, but I think uh, just for the sake of testing so you can see, I feel like maybe we should leave the spud as is. If you think you need it to be bigger than that, I'm going to provide a drill bit kit and a couple of different spuds that you can add. I've got two smaller spuds than this. We got some real nice turbulence in there. That turbulence that we're seeing is what's giving us that tremendous stability under high wind conditions. It's kind of hard to blow that out. It's causing eddy currents that keep us at a velocity that is below the flame front velocity. To be thorough, we're going to try a different gauge. I cannot confirm the accuracy of this gauge and look where it's resting now that we're done. Okay, we're going to try and dial it in on the target pressure of 0 0.8 bar that we discussed in the email and then take a look at the flame and hopefully it's big enough where we don't got to worry about back pressure and needing a larger spud. And once again, if you guys think your flare is going to be smaller than this at that pressure, then we're all good. This spud will work at extremely low pressures or extremely low flows, so you may never get a back pressure of 0 0.08 bar at the spud is what I'm saying guys. Um, even though your system is venting at 0 0.08 bar, that doesn't mean you're going to have a flow rate that's capable of achieving the back pressure we've seen. So one more look at that turbulence in there. That turbulence is extremely important to stability under high winds. So that's definitely a benefit. The round shape just wasn't moving air the way that I needed it to. Here's another look at some wind resistance. The round shape tended to cause Ventura effects that would actually suck the flame out of the top of the burner. I'll show you that here in a second. When I put the blower on the bottom, see how the flame just gets um, sucked out of the top? Now, I'm only blowing the blower at the bottom to show you what the round tubes do. Because we have this little skirt, watch what happens when I blow air in the skirt. You can see how we get a little flame coming out the top now as I backed off. That skirt is catching air. Here's a real good look at it. It's not sucking the flame out of the top anymore because air is flying into that flat surface. It's hitting that flat wall, whereas with the round tube, the air just flies right around it and won't go up the skirt. Here's the one inch adapter that was requested. This has been brazed with some 45% brazing rod, fairly high temp rod. This will never get hot enough to melt this. So this is far better than any Teflon tape. And this right here is the spud. 
This is a 2.93 millimeter diameter orifice. And just in case we decide it needs to be bigger, once we test it, I am going to send you a drill bit kit. And just in case we decide that we need a larger size than that, I am going to send you a drill bit kit. If nothing else, we can just chop the top of this off and go with the straight bore hole. So, this ought to do for our end. This is a one inch pipe thread. And that just connects to here. And there we have it. This is what I was talking about, the skirt effect. When the wind hits these side walls, it has more of a tendency to blow up inside of there than if this thing was round in every direction. And that air blowing up into there is what keeps that fire in the top, ensuring that it won't blow out.